welcome to today's video in this lesson we're going to look at um, converting numbers in base 8 into base 2 um, what we're going to do basically is we're going to convert the number given in base 8 into base 10 first after that then we're going to convert that number of uh, gotten in base 10 into base 2 so if you are not conversant on how to convert numbers in base 8 into base 10 please there is a video on our page check on it where we uh, explain how you can convert numbers in base 8 into base 10 and also if you are not conversant on how to convert numbers in base 10 base 2 into in base 10 into base 2 please you can also check on the video we have the videos in, in on our page so check on them we have the videos which in, uh, they, are, they have two methods which we have talked about. Okay, with that being said, let's go into today's lesson. So in today's lesson, we have got a question here which is saying convert 6, 7, 1, base 8 into base 5. So like I said earlier on, I said first we need to convert this number into base 10. So what we are going to do, we are going to write these numbers in the figure. Then let's, let's identify their place value. So this number, 1 in this figure has the place value of 1s. 7 in this figure has the place value of 8s. 6 in this figure has the place value of 6s. Okay, so now what we need to do next now here is let's multiply uh, these, this number 6 by its place value, and this number 7 by its place value, and this one by its place value. So I'm going to say, open bracket, we say 6 by 64. Then we add this pro the product of these two by, we add to 7 by 8. Then the product of these two also being added to 1 by, to the product of 1 by 1. Okay, so now. 6 by 64 is going to give us uh, 384. 384, then we add plus this one, it's going to give us 56. Then plus this one will give us 1. 1 by 1 will give us 1. So 6 by 64 will give us 384. 7 by 8 will give us 56. 1 by 1 will give us 1. Okay, now let's add them. So we're going to say, uh, we, we're going to say 1 plus 6, that is 7 plus 4, 11. So we shall write 1 here. Then, and we carry 1. So 1, we shall put it here. Okay, then we say 6 plus, we say, sorry, we say 5 plus 8. 13 plus 1, 14. So we write 4 and carry 1, we put 1 here. Then 1 plus 3, that is 4, it will give us 441. Okay, so, so, uh, so 6, 7, 1, base 8 in 2, base 10 is 441. Now let's convert this one into base 2. Okay, so <coughs> I'll draw my flame here. Okay. Okay. All right. Then I'll write 441. Okay. So we'll divide 2 by 441. Then we're going to say it is going to give us 220 remainder 1. Okay. 220 divided by 2, it will give us 110. 110 remainder, 0. Okay, then 110 divided by 2 will give us 55 remainder, 0. Okay. 55 divided by 2 will give us 27 remainder 1. Okay. 
27 divided by 2 will give us 13, remainder 1. 2, 13 divided by 2 will give us 6, remainder 1. 6 divided by 2 will give us 3, remainder 0. 3 divided by 2 will give us 1, remainder 1. Okay. Then two, 1 divided by 2 will give us 0, remainder 1. Now, since I've gotten a question which is 0 here in the middle, that means my calculation has ended. Now, it's time for us to write this, uh, these remainders. So, remember, when writing the answers from remainders, what you need to do, you start from down, going upwards. So you start with the last remainder up to the first remainder. Okay, so what will, the, the first remainder will be the last remainder. Okay, because of space, let's say 6, 7, 1, base 8 is equal to, so now let's get the answer here. If there was space, I could have written the answer properly, then I just shift. Now since there is no space, will be bring the answer here so one i'll write one here this one the second one yeah then zero okay then this one then this one the second one after zero then the third one after zero okay then the double zero is there okay then the last one then in base two so you are saying six seven one base eight is equal to one one zero one 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 zero zero one base two. So basically, this is how you convert numbers in base eight into base two. If you are not very conversant on how to do these processes, please check on our videos. We have them.